Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. Just kidding, it's a cabinet, not a crib. Tomorrow I'm going to Tennessee, so we're gonna make healthy snacks. They're healthy-ish. It's a road trip, so can't be too healthy, am I right? Super excited because it's actually real fall there. Um, whereas Florida, we have green and brown trees everywhere. They're gonna have maybe orange and yellow and pumpkins. Pumpkins not being part of the tree sentence. But we're gonna make some fall flavored popcorn for our road trip. I don't know what fall actually tastes like. I've never licked fall before, but I would assume it starts with one teaspoon slash tablespoon slash spoon of coconut oil into a very hot pot. Bang aggressively. And probably some salt. Because I'm extra and don't believe in microwave popcorn. We're going to use Clancy's Popcorn Kernels, or any brand. This is just from Aldi, which is the cheap, wonderful store that I frequent just as often as Trader Joe's, if not more. If you are already thinking, Tamara, you're so corny, wait till you hear all these popcorn jokes I've got. So you're going to open up your popcorn if it wasn't already opened and you didn't already spill it everywhere, and you're going to pour it into your pot. Ooh, now it's not spilling. Of course not. All the popcorn sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Put that on high heat and cover it with your pan cover. Pot cover? A lid. It's called a lid. Is this me or is my crib popping? Whoops! I practice our magician skills and add brown sugar to the popcorn while not making the popcorn explode everywhere. Okay, ready, set. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh no, this isn't gonna work. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Brown sugar, and in. Oh, good job, Tamara. Woo! Cooking's a sport. Mm. Oops, I ate a kernel and I'm choking on it. Mm. Okay, so now we have pumpkin pie spice, which from fact is not made of pumpkin. It's just like cloves and allspice and cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg and I subtly, slyly read that off the ingredient list while I was narrating. So we're gonna add that to our popcorn. Now we just let it pop. Are you a corn on the cob? Because you are amazing. Make sure you don't cook your sugar for more than 30 seconds because otherwise your popcorn will burn. Maybe I learned from my own mistake. Maybe not. Maybe I'll still eat it anyways. Who cares? Mmm. Nothing smells fall like the flavor of burn. Burnt marshmallows. Burnt um, witches when they go on trial in Salem. I don't even think that's what they did, but I don't know. Yum. If at first you don't succeed, mess it up, dress it up, and eat all the burnt pieces before anyone else gets to eat them because you don't want to feed that to your friends, right? Well, actually, I don't know your friend. So I've cleaned out the bottom of my pan for the most part. I've rinsed it, scraped off most of the burnt stuff, ate the rest. We're gonna add some oil and sugar to the pan and we're gonna try reglazing everything, but I'm gonna cook it at a lower heat this time. What's your takeaway from today, everyone? Follow our recipe if you don't know how to cook something. I never do. So I just put some brown sugars, a little bit of oil, and some soy creamer in a pan to make caramel. And we're gonna toss everything in there in a second. I'm just gonna eat everything though before we even toss it in there. So I added in the little kernels. And I'm stirring, and I'm hoping nothing's burning, but I can't tell it what to do. Popcorn cup. More spices. Now we stir, stir, stir. BT, you do what I said. We were making a healthy snack because that's not healthy, but it's yummy.